Okay, hi everyone. Uh, we're going to be making an interactive table of contents, but first what we want to do is we want to put in some page markers like section markers and page numbering and also some paragraph styles for the table of contents to uh, recognize and put in. All right, first thing we want is some page numbers. So uh, I just go up to my pages. Okay, let's find it here. And uh, I just want to go to my master page. I'll double click. And first thing I want to do, I'll put in uh, my page numbering. And I'll just go down to the bottom here. And I'm just going to create a text box. Here we go. And type insert special character markers and current page number. All right, there we go. All right, I'll put that in. And uh, I'll just put a style in. All right, now it's not what I wanted. I'll do it now. Window, styles, and paragraph styles. All right, uh, I'm just going to change that to a body style. No, it won't. All right, I'll just make a default one like that. All right, don't have time to play around with that. All right, so there's my page numbering. So you'll see that at the bottom of every page now, you're going to get my page numbering. Okay, good. Uh, I'll go back to my master page now. Control zero to get up to the top. And uh, I'm just going to put in a section marker. All right, so another text box up here. And layout. No, sorry, type. Insert special character, markers, and section marker. All right, and again, um, all right, I'll just bring that down a bit. All right, I might just change it to a body for now and just play around. Um, you don't get, we can, we can do type, change case to uppercase. Okay, doesn't want to do it, doesn't matter. All right, I'll just leave it like that for now. Now, next thing we want to do, all right, I want to just change, if I have a look, um, I've just got all these different sections in my recipe book here. So the first section is my, um, my uh, breakfast, then it goes down to chocolates, uh, main meals, okay, and uh, so on down to vegetarian. So I've just put in this pink box, pink uh, ball here, just to, to help me find out where my sections are. So. Um, I'm just going to go in and uh, I'll go to my first one, which is on page three. All right, and I'll go in and I'm going to go layout and numbering and sections. And this first one, okay, where it says section marker, I'm going to call breakfast. All right. Around a bit. There we go. All right. Disappeared. All right. Now I'm going to go to my next one, which is page 11. Layout, numbering and sections options. Okay. This becomes chocolate. Okay. Layout, numbering and section. Drinks. Okay. Okay. Layout, numbering and section options. All right. Mains. Okay. Look, I'll leave it there. Um, you get the idea. So that uh, what will happen is at the start of every page, I'm going to have that that section. All right. And uh, so that's uh, pretty good. All right. Now the table of contents. All right, we need some paragraph styles. And uh, you can see if I go to window, style, paragraph styles. All right, I've got all these different uh, options here. All right, and it's just different formats uh, for different parts of uh, the text. All right, so if I zoom in, you'll see that 
cashew curry is under the recipe title um, uh, style. All right, you just double click and you can just uh, put your styles in. There we go, go around regular, advanced styles. Yep, play around with it. All right, so um, it's quite easy to make them, but uh, I've already put them in already. So uh, I'm just gonna go into each of my documents now. And uh, I've already got some text, paragraph styles, and uh, I'm just gonna call that section beginning. All right, it's a bit ugly for now, but uh, I'll, I'll clean that up later in, in probably Photoshop. All right, go to the next one. Select section beginning. All right. One, select section beginning. Okay. Select section beginning. All right. Um, it is important to put these in because uh, you then, uh, you know, your table of contents will be able to pick them up. Section beginning. Okay, there we go. All right, I've got my styles. Now I'm ready for my um, table of contents. So I'm going to go to my first page, oh, sorry, my second page where I'll put the table of contents. And layout, table of contents styles. All right, I'll just edit. Recipe titles, get rid of those. I'm going to want my section beginning and my recipe titles, okay? And then I add. Uh, important to have your create PDF bookmarks turned on. Okay. Okay. Now we're ready to make our table of contents. Layout, table of contents. All right, there it is. They're the ones we want. Uh, have a look at all your different options here. It's all okay for me. Okay, hit yes. And now we can just, oh, sorry, before I go in, uh, table of contents. I'm just going to change this title to my cookbook recipes. All right, just to give it a name. Okay, yes. All right, now I can just hit click and there it is. All right, all my, um, my recipes have come in. All my section styles have come in. Let's side those. All right, and uh, the other important thing, I'll just uh, try to clean these up a bit, is that the uh, is it bookmarks have been created. All right, so if I go to window and uh, interactive bookmarks, all right, all my uh, bookmarks have been created like so, okay? And that's gonna help me out for my interactive menu, which will be next. All right, thanks a lot. Uh, I'll work on the, uh, the next section now.